Hello, hello there and welcome back to War Thunder. So, in today's video, or in this video, I want to discuss a very simple question. Premium tank or putting a talisman on a tech tree vehicle? And that applies to all the nation's tanks, all the vehicle types, so including ships, planes, helicopters and also tanks. And I think as one example, I shall discuss here the Type 74G versus the Type 74. The first question that we have to ask is, when do we consider buying the Talisman or the Premium Tank? And uh, coincidentally, we have the eight years anniversary discount from War Thunder currently going on. And uh, the first thing that I want to discuss is here the 50% discount for in particular the talismans for the various different nations begin right now and for in this case Britain, Italy and especially Japan we have the 50% discount right now on the 26th of October and for the other days you know the various different other nations come into play so it's a very long ongoing sale. Then another thing is that removed premium vehicles will be available again and maybe you find one of your desired premium tanks, planes, ships right there. Another thing is, and this is in I guess one week or so, there will be a big sale in the Gaijin Net Store where there will be 50% discount for the premium packs. So you can put a talisman on the Type 74 right now for 50% off or you wait a few days uh, till the 2nd of November where you then can probably buy the Type 74 with 50% off. So at the moment we have costs for the Type 74 of $60 in the discount then hopefully $30. And the big question is, and please give me a few minutes time because it's literally worth your money, uh, what is the better investment? And there are obviously pros and cons for all the uh, two discussed parts, so the premium vehicle and also just putting a talisman on something. The first thing is obviously the price. The Type 74 with uh, $30 on the discount and $60 right now is significantly more expensive than putting a talisman on a tech tree vehicle. It's roughly a third of the cost if you use a talisman and here in the discount then um, let me just quickly go to the type 16 that costs 1400 gold needles and uh, the type 87 1200 so in that kind of region this is the investment right now with the 50% discount and then we obviously have to discuss the difference between RP and silver lines because the Type 74, if you look at the very bottom of the stat card, uh, comes with a reward for RP of 642% and a reward for Civil Lines of 420%. And the calculations at first seem a bit complicated. Let's have a look at them. Let's begin with the RP, that's the blue bulb. 2.14 is the vehicle specific modifier times 100% which is therefore all vehicles in the game as a starter then plus 100% that is this uh, golden um, square that comes from the premium account plus 100% from the talisman that's the round symbol so that is more or less the same as for the type 74 exactly 642 again here the talisman makes the difference from the tech tree vehicle with no talisman to a tech tree vehicle with a talisman then at first glance that seems worth the investment but there are two more things three more things to discuss the type 74 has 420 percent for the civil lines that comes from a 1.4 modifier for the vehicle times 2.0 because it is an actual premium tank plus 100% again for all the vehicles in War Thunder plus 50% from the premium account whereas then on the Type 74 we have roughly half of this 225% while the tank specific modifier is with 1.5 just a touch higher the 2.0 modifier the yellow thing is missing so that makes the difference. On another note, 
the repair cost, the maximum repair cost for this tank, here the premium Type 74G, is with 424,230 silver lines, significantly less than the Type 74, which is more than twice with 9,076 vehicles. Uh, 9,706 silver lines, maximum re repair cost for the fully upgraded tank. So, in a nutshell, regarding silver lines, the Tech Tree tank with a talisman still has twice the repair cost, but only half the silver line income. So, overall, it makes you significantly less, uh, regardless if you have a premium account or not in contrast to the full scale premium vehicle. This is the same by the way for ships, planes and tanks and helicopters. So one thing is left and that is if you look into the tech tree, um, if you just simply outright buy the Type 74 as the highest ranking premium, you can research without RP penalty rank 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. What is the RP penalty? Well, let's just say you get in one battle 5,000 RP. You get the 5,000 RP three times. First of all, it gets applied to the vehicle itself for the modifications and in the premium tanks case or premium vehicles for the mark of distinction. That is a different story. Then you obviously get 5,000 convertible RP for which you can then use to uh, convert it via golden eagles into um, boosting the research. By the way, don't do this, one of the worst investments in War Thunder period. And the third is then the third times that the 5000 uh, RP get used is for researching stuff. And so you can uh, add the 5000 RP to your rank one research. Uh, if you know new tanks get added, rank 2 like the Chiha long gun in the last patch, etc. And that without RP penalty. And also even to the Type 90B in my case. If, on the other hand, you decide to put the talisman on the Type 74, if you already have that by the way, then you can only research rank 5, 6 and 7 without RP penalty. Now if you, for example, use the Type 74, 74 and you get 5000 RP in a battle um, and you want to research let's say a rank 4 tank let's say you are not done with your grinding and you want to get the STA 2 then you get less than 5000 RP to research that tank I think it's a four it's a 60 percent penalty for rank 4 and the penalty gets worse the greater the difference in rank is so that is one of the limitations of the talisman in, uh, in comparison to the Type 74G. So in a nutshell, let's just, oh, there is one more thing. If obviously you put a talisman on a Type 74G, you research also the modifications more or less twice as fast. And obviously, if you then research the Type 90 with the Type 74, you get an additional 10% bonus, like if you would research the Type 90B with the Type 90, as you can see here in the middle of the stat card, efficient progress from Type 90, 110%. So this is one of the things, but that only applies in the Type 74's case to the Type 90, just in case you haven't known that. So let's just summarize. The Type 74G is significantly more expensive without the 50% discounts and even if you uh, apply the 50% discount for both the uh, Talisman sales and the premium packages sales which have tif different time zones by the way where you can uh, purchase them, it's still uh, three times as expensive as the Talisman investment on the other hand. The Type 74 costs less to repair, never has to experience an RP penalty and also makes your overall more silver lines, which you can't just simply do with the Type 74. So you can see there are pros and cons for both decisions. And depending on your wallet, I 
personally would uh, get for the Type 74 because if I then have the full lineup, you know, uh, eventually the Type 89, the Type 74 and the Type 87, you have a fourth tank in your lineup. That is another bonus, so to speak, of the premium tank. Um, by the way, if you buy the Type 75 MLRS, then you also get an RP penalty for rank 7 vehicles, even though this is a full-scale premium, because you only can research the rank of the vehicle plus 1 without RP penalty. Again, so many rules, so many things that are not mentioned anywhere, and I think that I could help you in making your decision. Again, please check the time when the discounts will happen, uh, depending on what you personally favor, depending on how big your uh, um, Golden Eagle um, value is. So that is depending on you personally. As usual, you can ask me anything in the comment section down below. Uh, and please give this video a like if it did. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know if this help, if this video was helpful. And as usual, we will see each other on the waves, in the skies, and on the battlefields of War Thunder.